In this video, I will talk about the associative laws of propositional logic, which is another logical equivalence. This logic is found in pure mathematics as it is a very important identity. For example, a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. Different grouping of variables does not matter. Both sides of equation is equal. Based on this fact, if p Q and R are three simple propositions, then the associative laws are P or Q or R is equivalent to P or Q or R and P and Q and R is equivalent to P and Q and R. Here also the grouping of variable has no effect on the compound proposition on either side of the logical equivalence. We can verify this with the help of truth table. First, we make truth table for first equivalence in associative laws. The truth table for associative laws will have 2 raised to 3 equals 8 rows because there are 3 variables. I pause here to make the table quickly. The truth table columns are P, Q, R, P or Q, Q or R, P or Q or R and P or Q or R. Enter truth values for each column at a time starting with P, Q and R columns. For the columns with compound propositions like P or Q, if any variable in P, Q or R as true then the compound proposition is true as per the working of disjunction. You should evaluate all the columns in this way if it is a compound proposition. The columns for P or Q or R is similar to P or Q or R which implies that the first logical equivalence of associative law is valid. Similarly, you can create a truth table for second equivalence of the associative law. But the columns with compound propositions will be truth value evaluated based on logic of conjunction. The results shows that the column P and Q and R is equivalent to P and Q and R. Therefore, second logical equivalence of associative laws is also valid.